So in this video, I will be talking about how to care for curly hair, mainly washing, drying, and styling. So welcome and thank you for watching. Okay, so the first thing to remember about washing curly hair is you never want to use shampoo. Shampoo is very harsh on the curls. It strips it of the natural oils in your hair, and this causes the really dry, brittle split ends that you end up getting. Um, so we always want to use just conditioner. This is my favorite conditioner. This is the Garnier Fructis. That's what I'll be using in this demo today. However, I'll be showing you a few other options uh, that have been really successful for me later on in the video. Most of what I will be showing you today in my demo is based on this book. It is called Curly Girl. The author is Lorraine Massey. And this book was life changing for me when I first learned how to take care of my curly hair. There are a couple differences that you'll see in my method as opposed to the curly girl method. One of those is using a hairbrush. Uh, they recommend throwing away your hairbrush. And I did try that. Unfortunately, with my curls, I ended up with dreadlocks in the back of my hair due to not brushing my hair at all. Their theory is that it damages your hair, which can definitely be true. Uh, not the same as straight hair. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more tangles in it. But I do find that it is important to hold on to your hairbrush and be able to. Um, it's, it's also really important with the styling that I do. And I will show you that later on as well. So here we have my three favorite conditioners. As I've said earlier in the video, I only use conditioner on my hair, no shampoo. Um, shampoo tends to dry out curls and make them hard and brittle, and you get all the split ends and frizziness. So only conditioner. Uh, the one I'm currently using right now is the Garnier Fructis. This is their fortifying conditioner. It smells amazing. Uh, this is my current favorite. Um, other options for you, what I first started using when I started my curly girl method was this one. This is Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. This really helps to keep your hair moisturized, especially when you're first starting out on your curly hair journey. The other option for you from Herbal Essences is going to be their Totally Twisted. This is specifically for curls and waves. Um, I didn't find that it was a huge difference from their Hello Hydration. It was just a different scent if you end up getting tired of one, but I have to tell you all three of these smell amazing. I would highly recommend that you all read this book. They're, they're really about uh, an attitude towards curly hair in addition to a lifestyle of how to care for it. They have a lot of great tips on styling and hair care. They analyze your curls and tell you kind of which type you are and there's different hair care for uh, each of those types of curls. They have stories from curly girls and it's just it's a very positive book with a lot of great tips and tricks. Now you may be thinking, okay, so if I'm not using shampoo, how does conditioner actually keep my hair clean? I get really greasy hair. I feel like I have to wash it every day. I got a trick for you. Baking soda. Baking soda works awesome for getting the grease out of your hair. It really cuts the grease. So I'll use this whenever my hair feels extra greasy. If I've had a day out at the barn or at work, whatever. Um, you will just work it into your scalp. I'll show you how to do that and rinse it out. This actually creates a squeaky clean effect with the curls and you can do conditioner over top of that to make your hair silky and hydrated and easy to style. All right, so step one, washing your hair, get your hair wet. Um, if you are using baking soda, here's how to use it. I just get a little cup, stick some baking soda in there. And then this um, particular ingredient I like to use just on my scalp. So I'll take about two fingers, stick it in there, and then I will actually put it directly into my scalp and start rubbing it in. You can pay special attention to areas that feel especially greasy or if you have itchy spots on your head and just be grinding it directly into your head. I am not doing this in the shower, but this is what you'd wanna do when you're actually showering. So once you're finished with the baking soda, you wanna move on to your conditioner. This is something that'll be a little different for people who are used to conditioning their hair only as a way to detangle it. And with this method, you're gonna to wanna to use it just like you would shampoo. So apply it liberally to your hair, massage it into your scalp. This is gonna help get really clean, help cut the grease along with the baking soda if you decided to use that. Personally, I actually only use the baking soda when my hair feels extra greasy. I don't use that on a regular basis. It's 
really just the conditioner. It does an amazing job of keeping your hair clean more than you would expect from having spent your entire life doing shampoo. Pay special attention to the ends as well. You're gonna wanna use it on the ends to help hydrate your hair. Okay, on to my favorite part, which is styling your hair. Most sources are gonna tell you that it is very damaging to your hair to brush it when it's wet. I personally don't agree with this. I find that brushing out my hair when it's wet actually does far less damage than brushing it when it's dry. So I will leave all the water in my hair once I get out of the shower and just begin to brush it. This actually helps get the tangles out because the residue of the conditioner is still in your hair and it's going to help with the detangling process. As you can see, I've had already very, very few knots to try to detangle in my hair brushing it out like this. This also helps with styling your hair. Always style, I prefer to style when it's wet because that actually sets the hair with the curl gel that I always use. As you can see now, I've finished brushing out all of my wet hair. It is still sopping wet. I don't know if you can tell that in the video, but it's still soaking wet. I want to leave it that way until I've gotten the gel in my hair so that the style will actually hold a lot better. Uh, you can really use any gel out there on the market uh, as long as it is approximately a number three hold. That's what this is. This is my favorite gel to use. It's called Curl Scrunch and it's by the Garnier Fructis, just like my conditioner that I use. I find that if you use a hold stronger than number three, it ends up being really sticky and gummy in your hair and actually doesn't do a good job of helping you with the styling of it. Now gel is something we use all the time for decreasing frizz curls equals frizz to most people. But luckily for you, with this method, we'll show you how to decrease the frizz in your hair. So curl scrunch gel, you're gonna wanna apply probably about a quarter sized amount into your hand. I'm gonna rub that between both of my hands and I'm gonna take it from the bottom of my hair and scrunch upward squishing my hair, rubbing my fingers through it, applying that gel all over the curls, like so. You can probably see there's a bit of water coming off my hands. It's completely normal, that's exactly how you want it to be. If your hair dries out too much before you're able to put the gel in, you kinda wanna wet it down again because otherwise you're gonna end up with a bit of frizz. You're just gonna be kind of ruffling the strands of hair if you're putting gel on when it's still a little bit too dry. When I'm getting to the top and the roots, I'm actually squeezing my hair at the roots. This is actually gonna help the curls form and the gel will coat each curl so that it stays in shape as it dries. Next, so that I don't continue dripping all over the place, I'm gonna take a nice bath towel and take the curls from the bottom and just like I did previously with the gel, I'm gonna squeeze all the way up to the top. You never want to rub the curls back and forth. Again, this is gonna uh, upset the curls, basically. You're gonna um, create a lot of frizz that way. So you always wanna take it from the bottom, lift it gently up towards the roots, and then squeeze to help the water get out. And this is also helping the curls form. And then the last thing you're gonna wanna do with your styling is leave it alone. Now that it's like this, you don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> Okay, so we are back to show you the finished product of curls. What you get when um, following the curly girl method that I just showed you in this demo. So here we are. This is what it looks like when you get the gel to work with your curls, decreasing the frizz, giving it um, enough body, and they come out gorgeous. A couple notes for you that I didn't mention as I was creating this demo is another tip for decreasing frizz is to take that curl scrunch gel that we used and rub it across your palms and to decrease the frizz on top of your head in addition to just the curls is to rub it gently down working with the direction that your hair grows in and smoothing those frizzy ends down. Uh, this is done when your hair is wet after you're done with all the scrunching that we talked about earlier. You can do a bit of fluffing to give it a more body look. And then once you have this basic down, you're gonna have so many options available to you for styling, whether it's rocking that messy bun or a little bit more formal look and people are gonna tell you how gorgeous those curls are and ask you how you style it. 
Also, it's very important to find a stylist that understands curly hair, how to cut working with the curl rather than against it and treating it as curly hair separate and individual from straight hair because it is very different and the way that you need to cut it is very different from cutting straight hair. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, message me. I would be happy to answer them and go rock those curls, curly girl.